I don't know where you're at right now. I don't know what the Lord is telling you. I don't know if you're walking by faith and you're just kind of going along. Or if God said, you're going to do this for me. You're going to go here for me. This is my will for you, says the Lord. Of course, if, if you're not in prayer, if you're not fasting, if, if you're not keeping that communication with the Lord every day, your ears are not going to be open to what God wants to tell you. That's why prayer and fasting and talking to the Lord is so important every day. If you believe that, can you say amen? Amen. So those times in our life where we're walking by faith, I just want to talk about that a little bit. But really, I'm talking about the times when we know the will of God for us. What is your will for me? Keep asking every day. I want to follow you, Lord. I want to follow you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We may hear something from God. God may say, I want you to do this for me. And then our family says, no. I want you to do this. Your mom may say no. Your dad may say no. Your, pet, your, your, your brothers and sisters may say no. But who are you going to follow? Are you going to follow them? Are you going to follow our Lord Jesus Christ? Because remember, He's the one that blesses. Don't we try to fit in? What did, what did the Scripture say? That if we hate our father, we hate our mother, that we go, if, if they agree with us, fine. But we have to follow the will of God and take up our cross and say, Lord, I'm going to do your will no matter what. I'm going to carry that cross. Whether it's to stay here and be poor. Whether it's to go abroad and help the church here. To preach the gospel to the bottom by an OFW. Whatever your will is, I want to do it no matter what. That's what the goal is. That's the best attitude to have. To be crucified to Christ. To keep carrying our cross. To keep following the will of God. Hallelujah. If you can believe that, can you say amen? amen. Let's clap for Jesus one more time. Let's lift him up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, pull the heart. The musicians could come. Hallelujah. Will we keep taking up our cross? Amen. Will we follow the will of God in our life? Amen. No matter what it is. Amen. I've heard people say this is kind of negative that, well, I don't know the will of God. I don't know if He wants me to stay in the Philippines. I'm going to try something. I'm going to just try something to see if it's the will of God. That's not how it works. There may be times when we have to walk by faith, yes. But I believe that the Lord will tell you what He wants you to do. Amen. Practically speaking. Are we crucified with Christ? Or will we let our flesh take over in our worry? and our fear and our doubts take a hold of us. Hallelujah. Praise God. That's the real question. Will we give it all to Him and trust in Him no matter what? Or will we let our flesh and our family influence us and tell us what to do when it's against the will of God? Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise God. You could sing a song. Hallelujah.
strong word for someone to hear. Someone here that won't give all their life to God. That won't put all their decisions in His hands. You want to grow with God? You want to prosper and be blessed? Take up your cross. Amen. Give all your life to God. Amen. One more scripture from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 11. Come unto me, all you labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Amen. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart. And you shall find rest for your souls. Amen. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. I believe when Jesus was talking about the yoke, he was talking also about the cross. What we bear, what we carry, we carry the will of God. Our cross is doing the will of God in our lives. Doing the will spiritually, but His will also practically. Ask God what you, what you want, what He wants you to do in every part of your life. Give it all to Him. Say, I am yours, Lord. I am yours, Lord God. Say it right now. So how do you know I am an own just. I give myself to you, Lord God. I give all of myself to you, Lord God.